shouldn't have even touched my face with the damn glove on. Oh, Jesus. Day two of the damn toilet paper hunt, and it's 7.15 in the morning. Tom Thumb opens at 7. I just decided to come by here because I said if I drive by and they don't have that sign up, then that means they probably have some. So yes, they had some. But by the time I got over to the aisle, they were out again. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go to HEB. They open at eight. And the checker told me to get there early, get the toilet paper. So I'm just gonna go there and be there before they open. And hopefully I'll get some. <sighs> so basically guys, I'm under the shelter, but people, it's crowded under the shelter by the door. People have their carts and they're all lined up. And so, so the grocery person told me to stand over here because when they start the line, they're gonna do a one by one. Like they're not gonna play this like <laughs> scurry for the door. And then, so the reason there's a shortage is, of course, I've worked in um, consumer packaged goods, grocery business. So even the toilet paper manufacturers weren't prepared for this surge. So think about it. They're not getting their typical allotment every time they get a shipment. He said he's getting like 20% of their usual shipment in. So that's why people are running out because think about it. They plan, they forecast, they forecast, oh, here's how need is. Need is usually trickled in. Like, let's look at a neighborhood. Maybe your neighbor needs toilet paper on Tuesday. You need it on Wednesday. And go to the store. The person across the street goes on Friday. Well, now everybody's going at the same time and they're pulling from that inventory. So that's why you have companies now that are trying to produce toilet paper that don't normally produce toilet paper. That's what he told me. Companies that don't even produce it are starting to produce it. So just cross your fingers that I'm in the right place and I can get some damn toilet paper. It's crazy, guys. It is so freaking crazy. I didn't want to go in here while everybody's trying to get it at the same time because that's not enough distance for me between people. But this is the situation we're faced with. Bye. That is all the toilet paper they have for all these people in line going all the way back. I got out of line trying to go the other way and lost my spot, so I'm not getting any toilet paper. Okay guys, so you see it was dark when I first recorded. I started out at Tom Thumb, which is right across the parking lot from me. I've come a complete circle now, because now I'm across the street on Hampton at Aldi. Aldi again. Aldi opens at 9. There's a couple people standing outside the door waiting for them to open. I went to HEB after Tom Thumb, and you saw what happened there. I called, no, I stopped by the Dollar Tree near HEB. Some employees were outside smoking, so I said, hey, do you guys have any toilet paper? They said, no, sorry, we don't. Okay. Then I called, I called Office Depot, I called Home Depot, I called Lowe's, I called Kroger. I just stopped at the Walgreens. They weren't open yet, so I just figured they probably don't have any. If they do, whatever. I don't want to waste my time being there. So I'm here at Aldi. Hopefully Aldi got a shipment yesterday because when I came yesterday, they were totally out. And then if they don't have any, I'm gonna go over to this Big Lots, which is right over there, and see if they have any. But this is getting totally freaking ridiculous! I tell ya. And yeah, I got the same shit I had on yesterday. It's a uniform, okay? It's a Corona freaking virus uniform and you know my mistake at HEB was getting a cart because I thought okay if I go in there and they have a two um, item max and I don't have a cart I can only grab one paper towel and one toilet paper so I was like okay we're not doing that but the best thing would have been just to walk in there and on foot 
and be able to get past all the people with the carts and get some toilet paper. So note to yourself, <laughs> skip the cart. If anything, bring an extra person so you can both grab whatever your hands can grab. Um, right now, Brianna was working when I left. So she's working from my house and she didn't get off until eight. And Kiara is still working at the eye doctor. Why, we don't know. <laughs> working at the eye doctor. And because her boss is still having her come in. She's working there and they, so she had to go. She had to go to work. So I'm the only one that can go out and do this. So that's why guys, but you know, Aldi is not as crazy as Tom Thumb and H-E-B, so let's just pray that I can get some toilet paper. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, Aldi did me a solid. I was the second person through the door, so that was good, but there was a crowd of about 12, 13 people. Um, it wasn't as hectic because it's not as popular a store like a Tom Thumb or, you know, H-E-B. It's not as big. It's not as frequented. So, I was able to get a package of toilet paper, a 12-pack, which is equivalent to 48 rolls, they say. 48 rolls from back in the day. Because um, who makes little rolls like that anymore? But, you can only get one paper product. So, you could get a package of toilet paper or a package of paper towels. Take your pick. Okay? So, you know I went for the TP. Paper towels seem to be a little easier to get a hold of, so... I'll wait on that, but I do have toilet paper now and all is well in the world and It's just crazy out here guys. It is so crazy. Be safe protect yourself. Don't come out unless you have to and just Respect everybody just be kind Don't put yourself out and get exposed when you don't have to and just stay home. Let this whole thing blow over the so the more we stay home the sooner it will blow over okay see ya